Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at Bernoulli's principle and how it is applied on different parts of an aircraft. First, let's look at what is Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that the total mechanical energy of a moving fluid will be constant. The total mechanical energy of a moving fluid is the sum of fluid's pressure, kinetic energy, and the potential energy. This was formulated by a Swiss mathematician, Daniel Bernoulli. Understanding Bernoulli's Principle As per this principle, when the speed of a moving fluid increases, the pressure of the fluid decreases. A simple example for this is the Venturi tube. The fluid is moving through the venturi at a constant flow rate. The flow rate is expressed as cross-sectional area times the velocity. At the inlet, there is a specific fluid flow rate. As the area decreases, the fluid will try to maintain a constant flow rate by increasing the velocity. When the area increases again, the velocity decreases for maintaining a constant flow rate. If we apply Bernoulli's principle in the narrow section of this tube, as the velocity of the fluid increases, the pressure of the fluid will decrease. The fluid pressure will be lower than the pressure in the wider sections of the tube. Let's see how this principle is applied on different parts of an aircraft. Application of Bernoulli's principle on an aircraft The wings the cross-sectional shape of an aircraft wing is called airfoil. The airfoil shape causes the air flowing over the top surface to move faster than the air flowing under the bottom surface. On the top surface, the air velocity is more, so the pressure will decrease. Under the bottom surface, the air velocity is less, so the pressure will increase. This pressure difference creates an upward force or lift force on the airfoil and the wing. Jet Engine Inlets The inlet section of an aircraft jet engine provides a smooth flow of air to the compressor section. The inlet is designed to expand or become wider. So, as the air flows into the engine, the speed will decrease and the pressure will increase before entering the compressor. Carburetor on some piston engine aircraft, the carburetor is designed like a venturi tube. In this section, the air velocity increases and the pressure decreases. This decrease in pressure draws fuel from the fuel tanks to create a fuel-air mixture that is sent to the engine. That's all for my video on the Bernoulli's principle and its application on few aircraft components. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.